What's up, Turtle here, coming at you with another Pokemon opening. As you can see, we have some hidden fates. We're gonna open up all three of these tins. Uh, it's from that latest batch that we picked up from Game Nerds, but I have a quick small mail day because these aren't like Pokemon stuff. Um, and I'll probably put these in storage in a little bit. We have, we did pick up some of these Ikoria Collector's Boosters boxes. Uh, if you're not familiar with Magic the Gathering, this is a very interesting set where they have all, all these alternate arts that are kind of like Godzilla monsters. And uh, yeah, I thought those were pretty cool, so I figured to show that real quick. Um, very unlikely we'll ever open open those, and we did qualify to pick up like one of the Japanese promos. But all right, let's get into these tins. Obviously, we're looking for that shiny Charizard, and I want to make sure I open this one. And uh, on camera, like I've never had any issue with game nerds orders, but this tin was like. First off, some of these shrink wraps have a, a lot of extra space, which looked kind of weird. And this one, like I don't know. I thought it was kind of strange, so I figured we'll open up this one first just to see if there's anything sketchy going on. Again, I highly, highly doubt it. Never had any issues with that vendor. <clears throat> but here we go into the first tin. Hope everyone's having a good day. And let's take a look. Anything weird? Oh, maybe it's just this top part was. Ooh, what the? Yeah, the pack is kind of just extra stuff. Ooh, what are the chances of a fifth pack? One, two, three, four. All right, so pretty convinced this was like a new print run, but uh, one thing that's interesting, I felt like the other tins, you would always get one of every pack art. So this one is lacking the Mewtwo. Put this off to the side. All right, let's go through these packs real quick. So our total Charizard count for the channel is two. So looking for that third one. That does seem a little strange. But uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like. And if you're not subbed to the channel, I would appreciate if you did subscribe. Uh, all right. Got a far-fetched Misty's Gym, Brock. And in case you guys didn't hear, we did start a Patreon. And uh, one of the tiers, actually, what we're going to do is a tier where you can have product open on your behalf on the channel and I will sell it to you uh, at basically at cost to me and then like the the cost of the tier will basically go towards shipping so if you think you're interested in that probably will have some item for every month and next month will probably be actually we'll even have the um, we're, we're going to skip the comments we're going to have these hidden face tins as well as these Zamazenta and Zacian tins. We got a couple things next month. Blaine's Last Stand and an Eevee. So nothing too good so far out of this weird tin. I think the tin was just like the plastic was just kind of aligned weird so I was pushing the, the top out and kind of stretched the, the shrink wrap a little bit. But uh, yeah the there are hits so it's just a pincer but definitely the packs aren't resealed or anything like that. Let's see, we got Water Energy, Farfetch'd, Misty's Jam, Brock. Ooh, okay, we did get a full art. Giovanni, and then just a Jigglypuff. Pretty well centered card. All right, after these tins, I think I'll just clean up a little bit and then move on to the other two. So yeah, because of that Patreon stuff, I imagine we're going to be doing more Hidden Fates in the near future. I think a couple people have messaged me, say that they will like to participate in that. Vaporeon, then just a Misty's Determination. So, I don't think there was anything sketchy, but not a very strong tin. We did get our two hits, so we still maintain that 50% hit rate, but considering that both of them four are from the rare slot and not from the reverse slot, obviously means it wasn't too crazy. But alright, let's get into these other ones. Alright, let's do this. We got eight more packs for this opening. Hopefully get some good shinies. I did mention before that I am looking into... Alright, can we submit enough cards to PSA to hopefully put together a master set of PSA uh, of all this shiny vault stuff? It'll take a, quite a while to get there most likely. Uh, but obviously we would like to submit stuff that we pulled versus pulled versus bought in secondary market just because 
it's really hard to, especially on a TCG player, like you can't, it's, there's no way to check for centering. eBay obviously a little bit more flexible. But yeah, that is the goal at this point. Reveler, Farfetch'd, Jolteon, then Lieutenant Surge. Okay, so this most recent wave, these are all from that new wave, and so far it's super light on the shinies. Haven't even seen one yet. Hopefully we can turn that around. Alright, Darkness Energy. Brock, Misty, all the trainers. Oh, another supporter, Jesse and James. What are we doing? We get so many of these rocket supporters. And then we got, hey, okay, we got our first shiny. And so the new wave is the super textured version, which I do like between the two. But the glossy one is pretty rare. Actually, let's just check about the centering for you. I think the top is a little too... Top down is off-center. So that's not a good PSA candidate. But we'll take it. <clears throat> and... Oh, right, yeah. That, that double hit really helped as far as keeping that 50% ratio. This is the last pack of the second tin. No shiny GXs, though. Scyther, a Lapras, and then just a Ekans. Alright, on to that last 10. Ooh, wow, three Mewtwo arts. I think it felt like the second, first or second run, it felt like you always got one of each pack art. So I do think it's strange that that's not really maintained, but again, nothing, nothing to be alarmed about. Metapod, Sabrina, Charmeleon, Golem, and a Frogadier, we do got another shiny. Frogadier is one of the, well, pretty cool one. All right, three packs left. As long as we get one hit, that'll be kind of like par. Hopefully it is a shiny GX or some kind of full supporter. Maybe even a gold card. As long as it's not Bulu. <laughs> We've opened up so many Bulus. All right, Brock, Koga, so many supporters. Erica. And then a reverse energy. Erica was the rare. Doesn't really count for that 50% ratio, but we'll always take reverse energies. Alright, here we go. Misty, Scyther, Jinx, Vaporeon, always pulling Vaporeons. Oh, another shiny. This one? Nope, still textured. Feromosa. No retreat cost, Feromosa. Okay. Last pack. You know what? No matter what, this was a pretty good opening. We did get our six hits out of th three tins, but no shiny GX. Down to this last pack. Can we find some last pack magic? I think the card didn't look super centered. Oh my gosh, so many supporters again. Us, Nurse Joy. Uh, Lapras is our last rare, but we also have. Alright, we did get a shiny GX in Scizor. One of the cooler ones, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the centering. On the front, it looks pretty good. Maybe left to right is a little bit off center. Taking a look at the back, top bottom is not centered. I think this is where. No, nah, actually no, the, I can't see it here. But sometimes when the front and back aren't don't have like the same centering issues, it is a cause for concern. But yeah, this one does look a little bit off center, so we probably won't send this off to PSA. But either way, I'm gonna call that another successful opening, over 50% hit rate, and yeah, nothing to worry about from those game nerds tins, and it's a good thing because we bought a bunch of them. And uh, yeah, look forward to a lot more hidden fates in the near future. We got those Zamacenta Zacian tins coming over, and uh, yeah, thank you for all the support on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanted Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.